the Women's Demolition Derby. Coming up next, Jamie Kalamak, obviously, will be part of that. Oh, here's somebody we haven't seen yet tonight. Big Janet Abraham of the Florida Sundogs. And, once again, Amy Craig. Maybe Craig could be just about every event we have on this track. She could skate around alone and I'd watch. I think she ought to do play-by-play -play for a game, and I'll just sit here and just hold her hand through it, Rory. We'll give you a break. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, pal. Now, what's going to happen here? Three skaters are starting on the line, and a new skater will come in every 20 seconds. With more on that, here's Broadway Danny Wolf. All right, thank you, Rory. That's right. Three of the roughest and toughest women here in the World Skating League will start off. And then every 20 seconds, you are right, a different mystery skater will join in. You are eliminated if your body entirely goes into the infield or you're knocked over the top rail onto the floor. That's how you're eliminated. The winner is the last girl standing. Sounds simple enough. Here we go. These three started, but remember, every 20 seconds, somebody else will be coming down that ramp onto the track. So let's see if these three can last 20 seconds. Abraham is having her hair pulled. It looks like Craig and Conomac decided for the good of each other, they'd gang up on Janet. Did they get her to that infield? Yes, they sure did. Conomac, Conomac kept the skate on the track. That's good. If her body had gone entirely into the infield, she would have been out. So we have two left, and joining the fray now, Laura Weintraub. So we'll pretty much have three on the track at all times. Abraham is out. Weintraub, Craig, and Conomac are the ones going down. It's kind of difficult on the Conomac and Craig to have to repel every challenge every 20 seconds. You see that Jan clock there, and here comes Stacy Blitch. Hard to recognize her in her Quakes uniform. She hasn't worn that thing in a couple of years. She goes right after Weintraub. And Conomac and Craig do battle. So we still have four out there. Doing a good job so far, I'll tell you. And now the Golden Girl is going to get involved. Oh, she's out. She's getting through the infield. I don't know. I don't think so. Corbin saw it. She's out there thinking she's okay. These girls are just going out of tooth and nail. Laura Weintraub's left the track in the hands of Stacy Blitz. Oh, this is just carnage. Things just got worse because Denise Lowe just entered going the opposite direction. That could be no good for anybody. That's like driving the wrong way on the freeway. Francis just kept herself in. Conomax out. You see her there in the infield. Now they're trying to dump Amy Craig off the track, but she got away from Stacy Blitch. Loden's going to go over and finish that job, I think. She just hit the Blitch, who didn't even feel it. Now here comes Shea Brown into the battle. Another two seconds left in this particular jam clock. How many have we got left out there? Oh, no, the Hellcat brings... A garbage can lid, that's all we need is weaponry. Oh my goodness. She knocked Shea Brown down, not off the track yet. So Shea's still alive until now. She's been pushed off by Loden. That means the Hellcat and Denise Loden, oh, are they ever going at it? On the other side, Francis goes over the rail, but so does Blitch. And since the last girl, Leather Gun has just entered, they just keep coming, but that's it. And both of those that you just saw, Blitch and Francis, are out because they're off. And there's three left, Roy. It's going to come down to these three. We started with three, we're left with three, and now we're left with two because Leather Gunnan's off the track. So it's down to these two very tough women. Talisa Miller, the Hellcat. Oh, and Denise Loden, who just about broke her knees right there. Both good. Well, the Hellcat's going through her Hellcat routine, and she forgot about Loden coming up behind her. Now Denise holds her down. If she can get her off that track and stay on herself, she'll win this thing. Clawing. She's using her cat claws. Well, Denise Loden better be careful. She did it. She got her off. She got her off. She won it. Loden's the winner. Loden. Denise Loden won Loden's it. She the pushed the Hellcat off the track. Uh-oh. Now, the ice water. Oh, man. 
Cats hate water, you know that, don't you? Well, you know the Hellcat hates water. Oh, she is soaked to the bone, and she didn't even win for all her trouble. Denise Lawton wins the Women's Demolition Derby 2000. The men are next. Rory Marcus, Lee Hawk, Ruben back here in Roller Jam Arena. Demolition Derby 2000 for the women came down to a final two combatants. Denise Lowden and Talisa the Hellcat Miller. And in the end, those claws couldn't keep the Hellcat on the track as Lowden was able to pull her off and win this thing. And right now, both of these last two combatants are standing by with Broadway Danny Wolf. Thank you, Rory. Congratulations, Denise. You won our first ever women's demolition Derby. No, Danny, say it with me. Look in my eyes, Danny. I won the Hellcat. I won the. Oh! <laughs> I won his job.